Hello everybody, I hope you're all doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be going over how I have been trading Bitcoin, how I will be trading Bitcoin and everything in between. <laughs> so I hope that you enjoyed the video where we are going to be going over the importance especially of the 382 Fibonacci level. Okay, so let's start this uh, masterclass on Fibs. Uh, where, where, where to begin here? There's so much to go over. There really is so much to go over. I'm going to start obviously actually reviewing what we've seen over the last few days and then I'll go over what's happening right now. Right now okay so we obviously had our double top sort of scenario where we got that swing failure pattern breaking the highs okay closing back that back down below okay since we had that swing failure pattern we had obviously come back down formed our little retracement and then we went into this parallel channel okay so we were in this parallel channel as i covered in the last video okay that obviously broke to the downside you can see why it was so bearish because you formed a downward sloping parallel okay and we were unable to break any of the highs so you have the high the lower high lower high lower high okay we want to see price break above this and come above the highs okay so we just continue to move down and then we got that very very big drop okay very big drop okay funnily enough it went exactly to the 382 fibonacci level um let's review this really quickly i'll show you why the 382 fibonacci is so important in that in a, in an uptrend of buying the retracement okay so we're taking from the bottom of wave two okay to the top of wave three and you can see that we obviously hit the 382 Fibonacci to the absolute tick, to the absolute tick, everybody. And that was obviously from now where we're seeing around a 24% gain. So yeah, that's that's the, why you buy the 382 in, a, in an uptrend. 382 is a very good Fibonacci level to buy, not financial advice. <laughs> uh, but okay, so that's reviewed. We obviously we broke down from the parallel channel straight to the 382 Fibonacci level. Great opportunity to actually be buying where you then come back up but we formed another downward sloping parallel channel with a difference okay so we obviously formed our lower high lower high lower high lower high lower high lower high okay but really really important price came back over the lower highs okay price came back over the lower highs held it as support perfectly and as we all know moved up another you know 12 percent um and honestly this was for me 2717 was a really really key level of whether i believe that we would be moving down for that another leg or moving back above it okay so as i posted obviously um in my group i was posting about the importance of the uh 7217 fib level okay and like literally after we managed to break above it okay we came back down and held it perfectly so we come and back tested it as i said like yeah that is easy gains from the back test so literally we were just watching Okay, here we are in our downward sloping parallel. You come back, you you break that resistance, you come back down and test it as support. Really, really, really important SR flip for me. Uh, that was like a real key sign that, yeah, this is probably going to be breaking up after you hold the, the two, 7,217. Honestly, it was a massively important number. And you can just see how good I am <laughs> at, you know, seeing the right, okay, the right, the correct levels to be looking at here. Okay, so then obviously what happened here? Okay, we broke that upwards from our downward sloping channel we then formed a descending triangle here which is obviously triangles are continuation patterns okay so we obviously are coming from the upside you obviously form the triangle and then you break upwards how did we ha also have clues that we were breaking upwards here obviously just from a, a, a general sort of perspective you could just be looking at this as like an a b c d e okay obviously breaking upwards but just in, in terms of a triangle you obviously have your partial decline okay so you're obviously going from low to high to low to high you you form a partial decline right here okay sign of bullishness um so you don't come down to test the bottom you get the partial decline and then you break straight back to the upside okay so very 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 um yeah lovely basically and i even tweeted this out like yesterday I was even saying like yesterday, da, 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 like I gave you all that parallel channel, I, I, not parallel channel, I gave you all this this is descending triangle to be looking at. And, uh, you know, as I said, like this can easily be a continuation pattern just because um, descending triangles are downward sloping resistance. They do not have to break to the downside, especially if it's coming from the upside. So a basically a continuation pattern. OK, so so I was like trying to highlight it can easily be a continuation pattern because you break from the upside so you're coming from the bottom up to the tr descending triangle and it continues to the upside okay you understand brilliant let's go um so then we obviously pump you know really really quickly you see this on the three minute time frame okay you can see this obviously how we come up tested it as resistance 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 with obviously with a partial decline there and then we just blast straight up okay so this was a relatively quick rise okay you had little brief pauses on the way up but we come up to the last high of our parallel channel. Okay, so then you can see the old high, the very high of the parallel channel. And that's exactly where we came and back tested as our resistance today. 
Okay, and then we can see yeah, again the importance of the 382 taking our fibs. Let's zoom out to the 15 minute here. So we're then we're taking our fibs from the low of the descending triangle. Okay, very low of the descending triangle up to the top. We come down again for the 382 Fibonacci level, and that's another about two two percent more or less gain uh, from another 382 fib. You know, and this is like if you miss out on moves, take out your fib levels and uh, just just trade off of the 382. It's it's it is honestly extremely profitable. Okay, um, so yeah, that's everything that I wanted to cover in terms of of of, of the history of, of Bitcoin that we've seen over the last few days. And honestly, there was, you know, you know I, I hate to say it's easy to trade because I have a lot of people that are like, oh, can you not say this? Like, but for me, like, this is like easy to trade in terms of, you know, the patterns. Okay, we have the patterns and this is why you lose all bias on the chart. It doesn't matter about predictions. It doesn't matter what you care about. Literally trade the chart and you'll be so amazed at how perfect technical analysis is. We literally had the perfect, okay, perfect <laughs> downward sloping parallel channel where we cannot break the highs. You're the equaling no buying pressure. If you can't take the highs, there's too much much sellers okay so there's too much you know too much supply not enough demand you break to the downside to the 382 perfectly you then form another parallel parallel downward sloping but this time buyers show up they take the highs bullish okay you then form okay the old resistance as as mentioned like i was not randomly making up this number for me it was really really important while we were coming down on these lows Okay, and you know, I, I mentioned it. Um, and then obviously you come back and you hold it as support perfectly. You get the partial decline, another technical analysis pattern, and then you obviously rip to the upside in a continuation pattern. Okay, so the signs were there. Then you're taking your high from you. If you missed out of the move, okay, if you missed it, for fibs from low to high, taking a scalp of the 382. Okay, and then from there, now what I'm looking at is, is really for me, you know, let, 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 I'll give you both scenarios because I don't want to put words into your mouth of, of how you should be trading this. But the two scenarios that I'll be looking at now is obviously the high of the move, okay? And this could all potentially be an X wave. So you have to remember that I did have my eyes on a WXY, okay? So WXY, WXY, XZ. And this could just be the X wave, okay? So you do want to be aware that we could have just seen then obviously our W coming up for an X right now to come back down for a Y. And in that sort of scenario, I would be really watching the this 8,170, the, the top of the parallel channel of resistance. Obviously, you could just simply add in the high again. Okay, so the high uh, 8,400, but you know, that's quite a while off for where we are now in terms of percentage moves. Okay, so that's really the area that I would be watching now, your high 8,100. Okay, if you want to like take some shorts, a top fishing plays, and you know, obviously you can see the key, see key sort of resistance at the 618. You know, you don't really want to be losing that now. Uh, if this, you know, that, that that's where I would be going. If, if we lost the 618 here, golden pocket really 786 as the lowest support, if we sort of start breaking down from there, then I would definitely be looking at this as an X wave. Uh, but overall, you know, I'm just very happy with the whole move. Um, you know, as I mentioned to my like champion group, you know, um, I personally made it very clear to them all that I was bullish uh, on Bitcoin after we came down and we retested this the uh, 382 Fibonacci level. And that for me, uh, retesting the 382 made me extremely bullish. Okay, basically, when you get a, a, a sort of parabolic, so to speak, rise like this, okay, it's it's very unsustainable. But when you come back down, okay, so you're coming back down, you're getting good levels to be buy, to be a buyer. Okay, 382 and an uptrend is a good buy. Um, you know, it, it adds confidence. It adds more of a healthy sort of vibe to the uptrend okay so that for me was like as soon as we back tested this for me it was like a really good sign uh, and then obviously the confirmation okay because we want confirmation the confirmation was breaking then upwards from this uh downward sloping parallel channel okay and that was the real confirmation that actually yeah that was really bullish uh that decline to the 382 and then obviously we formed that continuation and, and, and we and yeah we continued upwards so yeah that's exactly how i'm viewing it uh Although, absolutely, I'm still aware that we could be just in a WXY, okay? So, you know, as with anything, as I said earlier, you know, I'll trade the charts. I won't be able to any sort of bias or predictions. I will just trade the charts exactly as they're given to me. And again, as we're holding the 382, you know, absolutely healthy and fine, in my opinion, you know? Uh, but yeah, I obviously will be aware of that that WXY uh, correction. Um, so yeah, that's everything that I wanted to cover on Bitcoin. The you know the levels that I'd be looking at really are, are the 382. I, I I personally would prefer the 382 to support hold now because obviously breaking through that resistance level. Now we have hold held back tested this as support again. So in my opinion, that's really healthy. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm still very aware of the uh, the X wave possibility that we have going on here. Okay. So I hope that I hope that this has helped you with Bitcoin. And uh, now I just want to like go on to, you know, if you look across the board, you can see uh, alts obviously very red today. Obviously, Bitcoin, uh, the altcoins do not like um, Bitcoin having high volatility. And this is exactly what we saw, a high volatility and over, 10, over a 10% move is very volatile. Okay. 
So you can see the, the alts across the board generally very red. Uh, obviously, Bitcoin Cash being a green and Watercoin Matic exceeding, exceeding the 1618 Fibonacci level extension now. So this is now going on through where we would generally just now be looking for the two extension, obviously 265 sats. But this really has to have a trading stop loss at this point. In my opinion, you have to be trading your stop losses as this continues to move up. Because obviously we're past the 1618. Uh, you know, now the target is the two extension. But honestly, I would be trading my stop losses. Well, I am trade just trading stop losses at this point. Okay, you just want to be trading your stop losses because we are reaching that high resistance level. Okay. And so this is one that I obviously tweeted out. Uh, again, uh, you know, this is what I said, and this is, you know, how true has it become? So obviously, Matt, and this was uh, on the 17th, so two days ago. So you know, it continues to run really well after retracing to the 0.5 Fibonacci level for wave two, and it is now on its way to the 1618 extension. If you miss a pump, wait for the retracement and never FOMO by the top. So obviously this was tweeted out when 190 sats, we're now on 243, okay, a massive increase. But again, wait for the retracement. Exactly how we originally saw the pump up, and this was like a, a crazy, crazy massive pump. We waited for the retracement, okay, you manage to get back in and then at this point again you don't want to be fomoing at the top but have a guess where we retrace to on this move okay so taking our fibs from the low of the move to the high at the time at the high of the time coming and testing the 382 fibonacci level to the absolute tick to the absolute tick 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 and then you can see from at this point this is another 50 percent rise and we're talking about in terms of time in terms of time uh one day one day for a 50 percent rise okay so now we're just obviously being very aware that this is reaching target areas now. For me, this is target area between the 1618 and the 2. That is, you know, you're definitely your target area for wave 3, okay? And if we're just looking at this very simply, okay, obviously this was originally our 1, 2, you know, high target areas, the, the 1618 to the 2. So we're looking for our 3 to top out fairly soon, looking for the 4 for the 5th. Okay, so this is really, really is reaching target areas. Now, obviously, you could slightly retrace this down. And have this as a three, four, five, but I am much preferring having the three uh, actually being in our target area of a one, six, one, eight. You know, that's that's where we go for the wave threes. Um, so exactly, you know, playing out as expected. Um, yeah, and like this is like. 50, massive massive moves basically um so yeah that's all traded you know it's just funny that matt is up 40 percent today and you know if you look at that on yeah crazy 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 um so yeah very 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 well um and i think that is everything that i wanted to cover um yeah obviously just uh, on, on generally on these alts uh they obviously the the majority the vast majority are, are bleeding out quite heavily as as bitcoin is is volatile so you know as always just keep your keep your trading stop losses on you should never be in, in trouble with any of these moves um and yeah just uh yeah let's keep our eye on bitcoin now okay really just keeping your eye on these you know key support we're looking at the 382 but we could you know we could come back down you know if people were uh, missed out on this move everybody always wants the retracement so if we get that retracement then you're obviously then looking at around uh you know between the 618 and this the 786 okay uh, but above the 382 is very healthy but we do have to be aware of the wx and then coming back down again for the y of this wxy correction and obviously that would have been our high range really really big range but our sideways correction that we were after okay um so yeah everything kind of going as expected and uh yeah just enjoying the market basically absolutely enjoying it um i hope that you all are having a brilliant weekend I just need to cover this again because the amount of messages that I'm receiving about it is like um, really, really popular demand. But again, just uh, yeah, the, the, my mentorship of the group, obviously where I'm posting my ideas and things like people really want to get in on it at the moment. And, and not just for that, but for the educational uh, side of things, you can all see that, you know, what you can learn from me is is uh, is great. It's really, really great, to be honest. So obviously it's it's in high demand but i just do just have to like really stress because i'm just repeating the same messages so many times that yeah this, this is sold out at the moment so uh i'm not opening it up for anybody okay it's it's sold out and it is opening in june at the start of june i will open up the signups again where we're just going to be opening it up and letting maybe 30 extra people in more or less okay and as soon as it sells out again it's going to be closed again and you just have to work you know wait for the waves um to reopen so uh yeah, it's just, uh, yeah, I'm answering the message too many times and I just wanted to write, really clear it up that it's, it's sold out and as wrote here, it will be reopening around the first week of June. Um, so just like, you know, stay tuned, I guess. Um, and it's going to be only open to Discord members first. So I'll post it in like the general uh, Discord when it's open. So if you, you know, you want to get in and you, you know, just be aware of it and be in the Discord, I guess. Um, 
so yeah, uh, I just wanted to clear that up because I'm <laughs> replying too much to the same message. <laughs> um, so yeah, basically that's everything I wanted to cover. Um, I look forward to trading this, to be honest today. It's, it's been an absolute joy and just look how perfect that chart is. Look how perfect that chart is. I, I love it. I love technical analysis and I love trading and I love, love, love this market and I love you all and I hope you're doing very well, having a great weekend and I will catch you in the next video. I honestly hope that this has served you well and uh, helped you out. So uh, yeah, thank you everybody and cheers. Bye.